Salem, 1692. A small town gripped by fear, unexplained events, accusations fly, neighbors turn on neighbors. The Salem witch trials remain a chilling reminder of what happens when fear governs society. Driven by superstition and paranoia, innocent lives were lost. The trials left an indelible mark on American history. They serve as a stark warning about the fragility of justice and the dangers of unchecked fear. Fear is a powerful motivator. Throughout history, those in power have exploited fear to control the masses. Salem's accusers used fear to gain status and settle personal vendettas. Centuries later, this tactic remains distressingly familiar. Politicians often resort to fear-mongering to sway public opinion. They demonize opponents, they exaggerate threats, they prey on people's anxieties. This manipulation undermines rational discourse. It creates division and mistrust. It erodes the very fabric of a healthy society. Belief systems, whether religious or political, wield immense influence over governance. In Salem, Puritan beliefs fueled the witch hunt. Dissent was seen as dangerous. Conformity was paramount. Today we witness similar dynamics. Extreme ideologies can distort policy decisions. Climate change denial. The rejection of scientific evidence. These stances often stem from deeply held beliefs that clash with facts. When belief systems trump reason, the consequences can be dire. We risk making decisions based on dogma, not evidence. This can lead to policies that harm, rather than help, the people they are meant to serve. Section 4. Echoes in the present, when politics mirror paranoia. Unfortunately, the echoes of Salem are not confined to history books. In our modern political landscape, we see unsettling parallels. The demonization of marginalized groups, the spread of disinformation, the erosion of trust in institutions. Social media has amplified these trends, creating echo chambers where misinformation thrives. Algorithms prioritize engagement, often rewarding sensationalism over accuracy. This creates a breeding ground for conspiracy theories and extremism. The line between legitimate concerns and unfounded fears can become blurred. This climate of distrust and suspicion erodes our ability to engage in constructive dialogue and find common ground. Section 5 Breaking the Cycle Lessons from Salem for Today So how do we break free from this vicious cycle? How do we prevent history from repeating itself? First and foremost, we must cultivate critical thinking. We must question information, especially when it confirms our biases. We need to engage with diverse perspectives, even when they challenge our own. Education plays a crucial role in fostering critical thinking skills. Teaching media literacy and information discernment is essential in the digital age. We must also hold our leaders accountable for their rhetoric and actions. We must demand evidence-based policies and reject fear-mongering tactics. Section 6. The Importance of Critical Thinking, Safeguarding Our Future The lessons of Salem are timeless. They remind us that fear and paranoia can poison even the most enlightened societies. They underscore the importance of critical thinking, open dialogue, and a commitment to truth and justice. By learning from the mistakes of the past, we can create a future where reason prevails over fear and where justice is based on evidence, not accusations. The future of our democracy may depend on it.